Thus, um, apologies from Councillor Second, Councillor Third is attending in the absence, Councillor Humphreys and Jerry Hutchinson. Can we accept those apologies? So I'm saying, can I have John's apologies for that as well? John from
Jim, that's a bit. Is, is there any, any way we can, if something is, is completely offline, for, for situations that are beyond our control, I'll put it that way, Martin, I don't know what I'm alluding to, I think. Um, is there a way we can go back to government to seek a new project to come forward no. at this stage, you know, very early in this financial year? No. no. Okay. Well, that was a little bit of a no. They're not like the answer. We've tried to call it. No. We have yeah. to call it. Okay, so that's a verbal report, so we need to keep our eye on that first. General item five, strategic economic plan. Just to update where we are with regards to the refresh of the set, we will know that we have, we've got this, the set is what we write to actually then enable us to draw down the growth deal. Um, as we mentioned previously, our previous set wasn't probably the best set in the world, and actually if you look at the data that's attached to this report, we've been kind of eight or nine in terms of the um, organisations we can we were compared against. What we'd like to do is to go through a refresh of that set, and although it's going to chances are it's going to be superseded by the way the world is moving on at the moment, we need to actually start getting ourselves into a position where whatever negotiations we're in, we understand what we want from the model to take forward. So the first thing that's going to happen is there's going to be an open call for future schemes, future programmes that we'd like um, people to be aware of, and um, we'll be running that in terms of July to September, and then we'd like to actually do the refresh as we're going through that process. I think that covers everything, Steve? Yes. Okay, Steve, did you want to say that? Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Thank you. Go ahead, Jim. Yes. Um, Martin referred to the quality of the set there. I didn't want to do, indulge on that, but people will recall at the time that the current set was produced that I was uh, a little bit objective uh, in my challenges over the consultation with constituent partners. Um, now, we're going to discuss housing later, and there's been a case come about which uh, Stratford District are gnashing their teeth on, and that is what is going to be the employment demands, and certain issues in the set um, exceeded what the planning inspector seemed to want to accept. Therefore, I would argue without going into wider detail that uh, we've had some uncomfortable times over this, what, what was in the set, yet at the time it seemed to bypass us as to much influence over completing it. We, you know, we had a couple of reports around this table, but I would like to sort of see more engagement with partners as to content, and more, you know, more robustness of that dialogue between um, the various councils that make up the city bill. Thank you, Mr.
Um, earlier within that structure, there is also a limit to the number of places, so we can't quite cover all of the six authorities, unless there was some leeway, for example, um, on the number of officer places on the executive group. But if we did that, then actually we could have, there could be a way to six places for six authorities. Um, that's an issue there, that's all for members to, uh, to uh, determine. Okay, members? Chair. Um, I certainly welcome the, the fact that um, there is a suggestion that uh, in terms of the left board, um, think of others being included and that we, that we very described, that there would then be a rotation. Because um, uh, I know you're talking about two separate uh, groups here in terms of the executive group and the left board, but uh, Nanit and Beba feel very strongly and, uh, that we've been unfairly treated in relation to representation on the left board. Because the original concept was that there was one district council representative on the left board, which we agreed with in the council of office. This was then upset some time later by Warwick under a different leader demanding uh, its own place because most of the activity was going on in Warwick. Well, to us that seemed, uh, you know, sort of doubling the insult really. Um, there was then a vote took place for the second place when Councillor Humphrey stepped down and the North had always assumed one of those two places would we'll go to the North, either an England bed with or uh, not Warwickshire. It didn't happen. And we've ended up with a situation where the north of the county is in fact only represented by the fact that coincidentally there is a county councillor who lives in the meters. But she isn't there to represent the north, she's there to represent all of Warwickshire. So this this arrangement, including Hinkley and Bosworth, will, will actually bring some fairness, we feel, back to the system. And while it may be some time before these arrangements are able to take place, it, it does seem a lot fairer. I'm not getting involved. No, I know. Trust me on that one. That counts the most. Yeah, I don't, I don't disagree with anything that's been said, and I think it, it's uh, um, certainly Martin's helping very much with the communication with our district leaders' meetings. But I, I, I would rather us maybe try and put some pressure on the left hand. I know that may have issues and how they can do it constitutionally and everything else, but, but I think that that's, that's one of the ways we can move forward by increasing the, the district membership. I don't know how that feels about the field, but we could uh, uh, push in that sort of direction. And see if that's My member says we liked, if you had two that would yeah. uh, cover mm -hmm. the districts, you did that. Mm -hmm. So I think. No, I would be there from the home house, so I've got a comment. Uh, can I say? One of the members that hasn't actually been there for very long, because my, as Dennis quite accurately said, I sort of got a space to occupy when Craig Humphrey stood there. Um, mind you, I don't think Andrew's been there a great deal longer than me either, because uh, of the time in which uh, he, uh, he came into post. But, but in reality, I think the principle of some form of rotation is probably a good idea, um, because, but you want some continuity, yet you want to give some opportunity, obviously, for others to take part in, in, in the work that, that's being undertaken. Um, I think, though, as far as the electing places, the constitution of the LEP is quite clear that the, the district councils will sort out their own representation. An earlier meeting here, asked us to revive our meetings. That has started. I held a meeting about a month ago, and we've already arranged another one, which, which Mike Stokes is hosting um, in, in a month or two's time. So that, that facility is back on the roll, which had lapsed for one reason or another. But, uh, so hopefully, um, as I say, it'll probably take a little while to sort it out, but we can look at the, the parameters and the principles. Now, we were told at one time that, that, that we would have a chance to choose who went on to the operational group and then it suddenly emerged. But I, I won't go into that in great detail now. But, um, so does that mean that the, I mean, who is going to appoint? If the, if the 
local government sector appoints its own reps to the to the lab board, which is the accepted way. Who is going to appoint people to the operational group it's and the executive districts? District leaders. It's just yes. Yeah. I mean, is this where we're looking in the uh, recommendations? So, so we go to the policy chair, senior vice chair, senior vice chair. So it's, yeah. It says we either, we either support the representation or vary it. Yeah. Well, Andrew has suggested a variation. Yeah. 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 So if, if you try maybe just to turn this into the right size choice, it would be helpful. The first bit, which is that effectively, do you agree that you have got for a, a, a chair, a senior vice chair, a junior vice chair, on the basis that one of those is counted from the county council, one is a council from the city council, one is a borough or district council, and then your job, if you assume that that decision is something um, that, that you're okay with, yeah. then I think you have to decide which is the <coughs> chair who was, who was senior, who was, who was junior chair, um, and then presumably will then run on to the sort of meetings. So that's one set of decisions. The other bit is whether or not, in terms of the district places on the Dalek structure, the district leaders effectively need to go away and yeah. effectively themselves sort that out. Because I think probably doing it here when uh, uh, other authorities who don't have a role in that, that seems a little bit odd, but that seems to help how we've we got to. Yeah. So if the decision here is effectively it's delegated to the district council leaders to sort out their representation across the left structure. So in truth, we are in favour of the recommendations. We go away and do what we have to do when we go away and do it. I'll take it as a point of principle because it's the only suggestion or recommendation that we build in that as a principle of rotation. <coughs> okay, so we'll take that principle of rotation. Can I just come back from the left point of view? From the left yeah. point of view, um, there's six public sector places on the board. Mm -hmm. Two for the county, two for the city, and two for the districts. And the reason why that, that was set up and amended exactly as it's been described by Dennis in terms of the one place and the other place. The, the way the constitution is written is it is and always has been for the public sector to decide who represents them in those groups. And so in terms of the county and the city, that's always been very straightforward. In terms of the districts, we've had the issues that we've been spoken about now. Genuinely, as far as the left is concerned, it is absolutely up to yourselves who you decide sits on the board from the district point of view, who that is, how you represent, and all of those types of things that go going forward. So it's absolutely nothing to do with the left constitution as to where you are. The issue that Andrew raises of an additional person from the left constitution causes us a different issue altogether because that means we have to have a private sector that is here. According to government legislation, we have to have a private sector um, decision making. So we then have to increase the board from 16 people to 18 people. And all the complexities about that and we've sought to avoid that because we've had a board before that was enormous and they were bringing it down. And to be honest with you, I see no evidence that three will solve the problem. More than two solves the problem. Absolutely right. In that, ca in that case, I would, I would ask Council of Ops to reconsider. Yes, yes, I'm happy. Right. I think we'll yeah. go along with these recommendations. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, at our district meetings. Yeah. Just, just one technical point. There's, there's many roles that have been brought to the balance about uh, if there was a big mix of the left. Um, we've made that application. Uh, for some reason, there's been a, a, a slowness in dealing with it. Uh, I think partly because of government regulations. And uh, I've got a meeting with both West and West District uh, and Country Road Select on Wednesday to try and give that to the This committee recommends that Inky and Bosworth Borough Council be accepted yeah. publicly. Yeah. So we're happy with the recommendations. Yeah. Okay. We need the district to their own. So do we take nominations? Yes, that, that, that's the decision that's going to be in. That is, that is. Okay. All right. Can I have nominations then for? So it's going back. The EP work chair. Uh, well, you, you can choose which 
we need to accompany council, to come next week, um, uh, the leader of county, you see, and um, then one district division. And, and we rotate. So at the moment, it's is it me or is it is it second? And it's this year one, next year one. So, well, I, know I would suggest. Thank you. Is there a second for that? Yes, that's I think we have made the decision. We take it away again. Nomination, sure. No, no, I, no, that, no. This, that is not the district in places. This is for the chair and the senior chair, which... Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought we were talking about. Yeah. Just, just to be clear, perhaps, there's a separation. The, yeah. the, the issue, this is for the EPG as a whole, the show yeah. could be chair, senior vice chair, junior vice chair. That's not the reserve just of districts. What we were talking about earlier, about the districts to go away, but their representation was yeah. in the left structure. The key issue is, is, is about chair, senior vice chair, junior vice chair for this meeting. Yeah. yeah. And sorry to through, through you, Chair, here's an opportunity to actually engage with leaders as an art on other positions where they are to their or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not saying I don't want to be chair, I'm just saying that there's an opportunity to look at uh, uh, other leaders who can be I think part so that we have got job shared around. Yeah. Um, so you will be putting forward a district leader if you want to. Yes. But what I'm saying is there's yes. only one leader of the county and there's only one yes. leader of city council. We have five district so leaders. Okay? So if you want to, uh, you have to decide between you, unless I've got this very wrong, which district leader you're going to throw into the mountain. Yeah, sure. And this is to simplify the situation that we have. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems simple to me, but if we're aware the, the, the host chaired it, I've chaired it before, yes. but it, it doesn't lead to any sort of continuity. And uh, that, that, that's the, the sense of it, really. And I stand by my nomination of yourself as chair of the PPD. Sorry, Chair, with, with all respect, I think the fact that we've adopted this paper today, as I understand it, the Chair can be the country leader, the Warrior leader. Or a district leader, so we can't take it. That's yes. why I wanted the recommendation to go through. To the so that you can decide which district leader will be either the Chair, the next senior, senior yeah. Chair, with the junior chair. So do we accept, can we please go back to what I said before, before I go completely insane, and accept these recommendations then at the next yes. meeting yes. we yes. will go to vote yes. on who Yes, we yes. have. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Well, I should still nominate you. And I still won't get it. But <laughs> very kind. Okay. Very hard work that one. Sorry, that's obviously my fault. Let's move on.